Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com. And if you like to buy ebooks through Amazon on Android, sorry folks, you'll no longer be able to do that anymore. Amazon has disabled the ability to buy ebooks with the Amazon app and the Kindle app for Android. Uh, they basically did this because Google's mandating that everyone uses their own billing system and will charge them 30% of each transaction. So this not only is affecting Amazon, but Amazon on owned Audible. They've also disabled in-app purchases. Barnes & Noble has disabled in-app purchases for audiobooks and ebooks through their app. So. Amazon is just the latest, but they are the largest ebook retailer in the world. So this is huge news. So Amazon pulled the ability to buy digital books in our iOS app back in 2011 when Apple implemented a similar policy that where they forced companies to use their own billing system. Since Apple users are more affluent and buy the most content, this was a serious blow. To get around this issue, Amazon developed the Kindle Cloud Reader, which was designed to work with Safari and allowed people to buy and read ebooks right in the browser. However, Amazon doubled down on their Android app because, you know, over the last 10 years, basically, Google did not force people to use their own billing system. They recommended it, but they they weren't heavy handed about it. So this is why all of your big retailers that sell audiobooks and ebooks were able to sell them on Android all this time. So what's changed? Well, Google announced in 2021 that they would start mandating that all apps had to use their billing system by June the 1st, 2022. Google said it would remove apps that did not comply with its billing system rules. Simply put, Amazon can't afford to pay Google 30% of each transaction, just like they couldn't afford to pay Apple the 30% of each transaction. Well, why is this? Well, it's all down to major publishers. Roughly about seven years ago, major publishers changed their structure for retailers. Before it was the Wild West. And if you remember, Amazon basically undercut all the other bookstores in order to offer the cheapest ebooks possible. And this was to spur Kindle adoption, both with Fire tablets, Kindle e-readers, and also the la apps for mobile devices. So basically what's changed in that is that publishers now determine the price. And this was initially done for a level playing field. So all bookstores would change the same amount for books uh, that they had. So basically with this is that Amazon simply does not have the profit margins to pay Google 30% for each transaction. Otherwise, they would lose money on everything that they would sell. And this is why everyone else disabled in-app transactions because 30% is their entire profit margin where the publishers determine the retail value of it. So what is basically, what are you gonna do? I mean, you can not buy eBooks through the Kindle app for iOS. You can't do it through Android e anymore. It's starting with the US and other markets will have it disabled shortly. Well, you have two options. Either buy a Fire tablet because all of the billing and transactional data is actually handled by Amazon. So you won't actually have to deal with any other third party processors. Amazon does it all. As well as Kindle e-readers. It's the same thing. Amazon handles and facilitates everything from end to end content delivery to billing to reading on the devices so suffice to say this is a serious blow uh, to readers especially those of you that read on android so what do you think about this entire situation drop a comment below let me know what you think about it and for goody reader news my name is michael and everyone take care